Hi, welcome back to the Mule 4 tutorial. This is Akash. So in previous video, we have created one M unit for our flow, which is this HTTP set payload and logger, where we have created one M unit and we have also used the assert that to verify the M unit whether we are passing or we are failing that particular M unit. And also we have gone through after suit, before suit, after test and before test. So as you know that we had divided in Mule 4, we have two parts, one is M unit and one is M unit tool. So in this video, we'll discuss about the mock when where it's similar to the mock connector in Mule 3. And also we'll go through the spy. So this is new in Mule 4 M unit. So I have created one dummy copy connector. It is from copy file from C to C output to C in folder and uh, I have configured this with the FTP with giving the binary localhost 21 and everything. So here we have connection for that particular copy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create I'm going to mock this copy connector using mock when. So mock when I need to add it over here in behaviors. So this is, in, as you know, at Mule 3, we can select, select the flow and select the connector. Here, we need to go to the particular connector and we need to copy the name of that connector. Not the name, the, the opening braces for that particular XML. So FTP copy is the opening brace for this. So I will copy it. I will paste it over here. So this will basically mock this connector. Now we have two things over here. One is the with attribute and this is then return. Let's say I want to send some information with some attribute to that particular connector. I can use the bean reference. I can create the bean for it or else I can do inline. So I can add attribute. So these attribute will be used by that particular FTP. And then, then return is after successful completion of that particular connector what we want the information from that particular connector so this is we'll get in return so in return we have two types we have one bean reference and then we have edit inline edit inline contains lots of things i will show you each of these one is the payload what payload we are getting what we are looking for let's say i want just payload value What is the media type? What is the encoding? If we want to this. If we want to basically mock some attributes, we can do it with the help of click. Just click over here, add the value of that particular attribute. If we want to create some variable, we can create with the help or with the help of this connect this area. You just click on this and it will click on add. Here I will add key value pair, so it will show me that particular variable after completion of that. If we want to set the property, session properties, we can do it with the help of this. If we want to set inbound properties, we can do it with the help of over here. And we can also set the outbound properties. So in Mule 4, we have lots of functionality in M unit as compared to the Mule 3. So right now I'm just using payload to show you the stuff. You can practice all this and you can had get a command on particular M unit. So I just save this, I will run this and I will show you how it will work. So in console, this is basically deploying on my local and then it will run the test case and then it will stop the server locally. It's about to deploy. It's deployed and now it's running this. Deployed successfully. Now it's running. Running test case this. Okay, it's completed successfully. Done. Now we can check whether the task is, as we can see, task case is passed because we have as in assert that we have not null value. So we are getting something in the payload 
because of this we got the test case as pass now we'll see the if you have something we have gone through the before suit and after suit we can see that so we have before suit before test after test after suit okay so in this way we can mock any connector we can change the behavior of connector we can get the input output from the particular connector in the form of payload or properties or session variables or inbound or outbound properties. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one spy. So this is a new connector. I will show you we need to drag this in behavior. So this is similar to the mock but we need to give the connector name over here. Over here. So connector was uh, FTP copy. I will copy this. I will paste it over here. Now, if you want to send it with some information, we can do it. For now, I am doing none. So this gonna help me. What we let's say I want to perform some operation or want to do some logger before that particular connector, I can use this. So there is there are two option. One is before call and after call. So before calling this copy connector, this fun this area will run. And after after the successful call this area will run so I will show you how this basically work I will drag one before call and I will drag one after call I will write it over here after call and over here I will add before call save it now I'm gonna run this and we'll see how it will work. So this is deploying on my local. So it's deployed successfully. Now it's running my test case. Running new test suite XML. Okay. So I will just search this uh, after call in log. Okay, here it is. So we have before call and after this particular running that after mock that particular connector, we will have after call. And then we have after task. So as you can see over here, first it run the before suit, then it run the before test case, then test case whole test case run, and then you receive before call and after call logger. After that, you receive the logger as after test and then after suit. So in this way, you can use the spy and mock when connector. So if, as you know that if you want to have custom assertion, we can use the run custom. If you want to use some assertion when it fails, we can use the fail assertion over here. So that's it for this video. Thank you.